All right, welcome back. I just did a little bit of off-screen buying of items. Got a couple potions. Got a couple uh, lockpicks. A few more repair items. Let's get right into it, shall we? Widow's Wrath. Oh. The mortal from Castle Yolven. How vexing is it that you escaped? Your stubbornness is yet another irritation from you mortals. But it is the way of my kind to endure. It is not a quality we share. The bulk of my horde lies within. And I am eager that you might face it. But I am not reliant upon my spiders, nor am I unreasonable. I can see you are brutal in your own form. I offer amnesty in exchange for the lives of Kanarok. Oh, I had believed for a moment that you had some potential. Oh well. I lack the sympathy to kill you personally. You shall feed my guardian spiders after all. While they draw breath, none shall approach me. These walls obey my wishes. These spiders' lives are mine. Your way to me will be barred by root and fang. Yeah, you better leave. Oh no, I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to go this way. Maybe I just can open that door. And open. Nope. Open by unusual means. Ah, uh, spiders. Leather boots. Should have got a fire stick. Not the Amazon guy. So like if you can't hear the sound, it's just crickets chirping. 
Oh. We're gonna take a detour real quick. Did not know that would work. This musical score is really nice too. He's got unnatural reach. Somebody should be counting the uh, RPG tropes. We've already got skeletons. We've got spiders. Oh. Got bandits. Never forget bandits. Dang it! Makes me sad that that one's just decoration. It could have been loot. And a poison.
Change it to a. Oh, now it gets a little dark. Boss fight time. And here you are yet again. I must say your hunger is great. Unlike the fey I slaughtered at Castle Yolven. Now come, let us test ourselves against each other. I do not fear being cut down. I will rise again in time, unlike you. Um. I don't think you will, lady. I'm actually sure you won't. Where'd you go? Spiders. Put in the corner. Forty nine for a ranger, seventy six for assassin. Wow. Left turn. Two map. I think that'll solve the spider problem. Indefinitely. Something wrong? You've done it. We owe you our lives and our livelihood. If not, we'd be food for spiders, and the widow would be dancing on our remains. There is not enough gold to show our gratefulness. But this is what we can give. Take it, with our thanks. Be well.
All right. Now we have to go here or there. We're gonna go there first. On a quest for that. Quit running past the quest. Every time I see move, that's what I want to do instead of clicking on uh, the map. In fact, I get distracted by Chloe's. Ever so slightly changing the volume, make it a little bit louder on the microphone. Oh no, spiders! Spider loot. But we got a foot locker. I can't go into the barn. Flax. Bones? Go coins and skulls. Oh, moi. I don't need these peasants' clothes. Skulls and bones. Oh. Ooh, story time. The embrace of Webwood never ends. It grips you with a strength of passion. A gentle feeling, a quiet moment, sleeping in the cradle of a balmy secret place. It's a cool story. Not inside for the first time ever. So, the 
savior comes for cartery. What do you want? You... you did? I, I must have left it behind when I was fleeing those spiders. The damn things were everywhere. I can see you're not convinced. So that tough rat sent you to do a little digging. It's only a matter of time before she learned what I did to her parents. But you found out first. A stroke of luck. Now, let's come to an arrangement, shall we? Say, a heavy purse for your silence? I didn't desert the war, only to return ten years later. I'm never going back to Mersenshire, and Carowin wasn't about to make me. What, you think I had a choice? You can understand what the war means to our people. Even Wedwood is more appealing. I thank the gods for the simple life on that farm, and she tried to take that from me. Really, the wandering hero is going to bring me to justice? I think not. I've murdered twice before, and you shall be my third. Dude, throw that in public. <laughs> not only that, after everything I've done, this is what you're gonna do? You're not very bright. There's a party going on. Why is it so much louder outside? I can't believe Cartery killed them. My mother and father had been his friends for years, before I was even born. To think that he did all this just to avoid the war. I knew my family was likely dead, but I thought it wouldn't be over something like this. Thank you for your help. Here, here is your reward, as promised. Safe journey. Yeah, Let's see if we can break stuff down. Hi. Right. What quests do we have left? There's the books. See if we can locate this potion. Oh, gotta be quiet, gotta be quiet, gotta be quiet. To war. Ooh, that was, that, was, that was close. Three percent. I like the mods. I don't even remember where that market goes to. Didn't do it. Whatever it is you're eyeballing me for, I'm not the one respond. Respond. The one who did it. Wait, did I? Something's wrong with you. Hope this works. Bottoms up, mate. I think it's working. Indubitably. Plethora. Effulgent. There it is. Now I should be able to brew up anything I need in no time. As agreed, 
Here's your payment. You're a real lifesaver. You uh might want to brew up some of that uh intelligence potion. Is that also up there? No, it's at the bottom. So this is where we're gonna be going. To the new town. Uh. You guys just come out of nowhere? Oh, that was a mistake. Maybe I'll be able to get some leather gear now, though. Fighting bandits, bandits usually leather. Hopefully, we can get some favorable drops. Oh, this wasn't that bad. Don't die, quest guy. I'll kill you all if I have to. Damn boggarts. Uh, give me a moment. I'm suddenly, very dizzy. You look sick. Aside from the boggarts and blood plague? <coughs> Look, you should turn around and go. <coughs> go somewhere safe. This is no place for visitors right now. Kester Barclay would know far better than me. He's in the town square. Go and ask him yourself. Alright. Talk to you later. Mm, maybe. Yes? I'm just running to you everywhere. What do you mean? I'm sorry, but there's no plague shield left. I'm sorry, but I'm simply out of plague shield. There's nothing I can do for you or anyone else till I have it. Blasted blood plague. It treats the blood plague, which almost all of Diamond Hill's sick with just now. Brother Fallon should have come with more. Can't think where he is. Good, because the whole village needs that plague shield. Never mind what happened to that old oaf. I need the medicine. Three parcels at least. Go up the road through Glendora Wood that leads to the mission. Bring the plague shield yourself if you must. On with you. Get... Ah, the castle. This tells me that half the village sick your tavern will be a part of Loch Dyden for the day. You're a brave soul coming to Dyden Hill. This little village is faring pretty badly, and I would know. I was in the war. It's in your best interest to fill your pack and depart as soon as you're able. The blood plague works fast, very fast. You met Gisela? No. Yeah. I sent that death notice. She should know that I'm... that I'm dead. She cannot know that I survived. Call me a coward. Call me whatever you wish. But I'm not the same man she wed so long ago. I am broken. I cannot subject her to the nightmares, the wounds, the restlessness. I will spare her that torment. It's easy to say that, but I have stared the horrors of war in the eye and seen only death. Giselle deserves a new life, one not marred by the Tuatha. Every night I weep for what I had. What could have been, that dream has perished. She will have to survive this long life without me. 
It is for the best, I promise you. The waters of Loch Dyke. Such a lovely sight. Hey, old man. Not doing you quit. Well, we'll talk. It's your fault that I can't pay my tab, you know. What are you talking I about? I wasn't ever supposed to come back here in the first place. I've spent the last 20 years knowing what fate had in store for me. And then you... Damn it. I thought I had my life figured out. Not for a fate weaver, it isn't. But that's just the problem. When I was young, I thought I could overcome anything. Now, I know otherwise. I fought beasts the size of trees, was celebrated by mortals and fae alike. When I was initiated into the Fate Weavers, I thought it was a reward for my good deeds. The first time I saw my own fate, I realized it was nothing but a curse. What did you see? My own death, of course. But not a hero's death, as I had always dreamed. I was going to die alone and unknown, killed by an Etten and used for stew. It was a terrible end, <laughs> but I knew it was part of fate's greater plan. Then you came and changed that future. You stole my part in the tapestry. I was at peace with knowing the worst, but what do I do now that there's nothing to know? You're right. My glory days don't have to be over. And as long as I'm around you, I don't know how my story will end. That means I've got to make sure you stay around in one piece. Maybe this old trinket from my youth will help. Maybe. After all, I don't just owe you my life. I owe you my future. Why, I once tracked a yeth of Avgroon on a moonless night by smell alone. Fay or not. I could have tracked those Tawapa sober. They've set up in a cavern north of town, complete with some way of scrying your location. That's how they found you so easily. I have a plan, but it'll take the both of us to work. They took a big risk getting across Erethel undetected. All to attack one single objective. You. They're using something big to track you. They call it the Eyes of Tyrlock. Smash it, and they won't be following you anymore. The main entrance is heavily guarded, and will require a strong attack. The other route is trapped. It'll need a subtler approach. Straightforward and direct. A warrior after my own heart. I'll cover the back and make sure they can't escape to report back to whoever sent them here. Let's track down some trouble. What is it you... Oh, uh, hello. Uh, did Thaddeus send you? Kester Barclay, my apologies. I thought Whatever you guys were the want. same person. This crisis has me a bit on edge. Yes, that's it. Did Thaddeus tell you? The Boggarts carry it in their venom. And they're spreading it everywhere. Normally, the things keep to themselves. Looks like some Jotun got into their lair, though. Forced the Boggarts out. You're either brave or a fool. If you could kill the Jotun, perhaps the Boggarts would leave us alone. All right. Travel north to the Boggarts' lair in Coilsbane and clear out their cave. Until later, then. I guess we're doing this quest now. Damage at night.
Oh no, it's a bear. Bears got wrecked. Come on, Barry. This is the front entrance. You'll face their strongest guards. So it's no place for subtlety. Find their scrying mirror and smash it. I'll slip in the back and make sure none of them escape. I don't have an answer for that. I can't imagine what about you made Gadflow send his troops across the continent. His army is locked in a siege in Clorakon. The small groups sometimes make their way to Eretan. I don't think they've ever been this far inland. Just go inside and find those scrying mirrors. Don't worry, I'll be coming along to help. You got it. Let's do this. I'll see you inside. I accept my mission. Okay, severely fixed. It's going to be hard to end my tail here when you're going dead wood. No more looters. Thank you, Matt. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Didn't see here.
see if we could do an awesome. No, because I can't pass to save my life. Think they saw me? I think they saw me. Oh, I'm pretty sure they saw me. At least one of them. Not really good at the sneaking thing. I just wanted to see if I could do it. Crater man potion. That's gonna be way too much mana. Let's go overflow bar. Well, I do feel like this is a bit much. Okay, that was pretty cool. Dude, I keep forgetting I have these, uh, these potions. I totally should have had that on right there. Probably just wasted that one. Blessed herald of the merciful Tiernach, all mortals end. Even if some are more persistent than others. At least the Tawatha won't be able to track you so easily now. But it looks like you've got the personal attention of their king, Gadflow. 
Right, good. If you were anyone else, I'd suggest you start running and not stop for a few years. But you might just have a chance. You're a mortal that survived death. You exist outside of fate. The Fae do not deal well with change, and you represent a threat to whatever has driven them to this war. And as much as I hate to say it, you'll need to take Aelin Sheer up on her offer of help. The Codex of Destiny should hold some answers for you. For all I know, you already met with her at the House of Balance. How did you do it? Sounds that? like she's the only lead now. We should be able to get out this way. Also, how do you know this? <laughs> See that bear? That is a tumble bear. doing that yet. We're gonna meet this lady. Hope she's got something. You've returned with good news, I pray. Even though I knew it was childish, I held on to a wisp of hope that you would learn something new. That you would actually do what you promised. It's the scariest Tell me, what did you find? cow ever. And what did happen? Please. May Mitharu keep you. You've given me hope. That's what Camden was fighting for all along, wasn't it? Hope that peace would return to all of us. Thank you. Please take this. It's not much, but it's all the wife of a miller turned soldier can afford. I will go to Camden now. I will show him that nothing can shatter our bond. Not war. Goodbye. Of course, what we're doing at that point. That new. Do one yes, last one. Some hope. This will be the last one before I end it. Good day. I can find it. Another is it. War sworn work? Good. The gold's run low and my mother's not doing so well. To the warden's bridge it is. Farewell, mother. I won't be long. Boggarts bring the blood plague. You guys keep saying that. Take a time. Oh, repair kits. I'll take it. Uh. 
Where's this quest at? Oh. I may have to wait. My mom. You're in Star Camp, home of the Traveler's Dove. Now, I don't suppose you came here by accident. Ask Dove, ask to join our number. Uh, I'm interested in joining. I thought by the look of you that you might. I have a good feeling about you, but Even some what you are. count less around here than they should. I'll send you to the camp's leader, Krill Garin. She'll get you on your way. Oh. Then we're gonna have to send it here, just on time reasons. Oh, loot and big fish. Who are you? The dust of the road rises to meet you, Wanda. Welcome to Star Camp. Then Grim has appraised you and found you of worth. But there is another you must appease. Our guide. The anonymous Hierophant. Hierophant? Go to the Hierophant shrine in our camp and pray, as all travelers must. We have many freedoms and one chain. A traveler lives by his or her hands and guile. You must do the same. Trader Haydn sells items to supplement these skills if you need. Maybe I do want to be part of you guys. Travelers have clever hands, but they are useless without the hero font, whose eyes guide us, a gift upon which we come to rely. See, if it's to in this town. To receive visions, we are commanded to pray at their shrines, and there are many who readily comply. May the wind be at your back. We'll see what this is, and we'll have to end it. What prays before me? An eddy in the river of fate, a cacophony in the song of Amalur. Your presence is unnerving, but you have come and prayed and honored our creeds. You wish to make yourself a traveler? Then ask me for my portents. What are your portents? For true trust, for true compliance, the Hierophant must have no weakness, nor fault, nor lapse. In other words, the Hierophant must be no one. Ha ha. The price to admit you is great. It will take three treasures to balance the burden. First, there is a noble Elfwig Grilrakas staying in Dyden Hill. Steal his medallion. Then, in the nearby mission, claim the pall of the dead St. Edrix. The last are Drog's toothpicks. We have contacted their owner, Gunnafrode, to buy the items. But you will steal them instead. Yes, some final warnings. Elfwig Grillrakas is a fastidious man. He will not suffer an approach, he can see. The pall of Edric lies in his tomb, which is under many eyes. Wait until none are near before you claim it. And last, Gunnafrode is... shifty. He will not have the daggers on him or near him. Be warned. You got it. I don't know when I'm ever going to actually do that quest. But, this is where we're at. We'll have to see how it turns out next time. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do what you do.